Good morning from California. <laughs> it is 10 18 a.m. on Sunday, February 19th. I almost said 20th. Um, we are headed home from the baby shower. We made a stop in Healdsburg so Jenny, uh, adopted daughter, can see her grandmother who's not doing well. Um, and they're off doing that. Bob is looking for the restroom <laughs> and then we're going to call a friend of ours and check in on them because she's not a friend of ours is also not doing well um we're going to head home today we're going to make a couple of stops i've gotten some beautiful video and pictures from um the car of this beautiful farm country in the middle of california there's some beautiful farm country here i don't want to live here but it's a pretty state um anyway i'll insert some uh, video clips and or pictures here Okay, so I also did a shopping trip at Daiso, which is buried under there. We are buried in baby gifts back there. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, and I got some things at Daiso. That was fun. For those who don't know, that's a Japanese dollar store. Um, they have them in California and they have them in a few other states, but not Oregon. So when I come to California, I try to go to one. Um, so I picked up a few things there and um, some snacks and some other things I have trouble finding in Oregon and um, we're going to make a couple more stops before we leave the state and head home so uh, yeah and Bob has tomorrow off which might be good because we have to get ready for the baby shower at our house and we have to get that stuff to the kids house <laughs> so many things so anyway all right I think that's it for the minute I'll be back guys good morning it is monday not january holy cow february 20th i believe let's see 10 37 a.m um anyway while we were in california i went to daiso and i don't do hauls anymore because i don't like feeling making you guys feel like you have to buy stuff you don't um but I, sorry, I dropped something. I do want to share what you can get at some place like a dollar store to use in your art. And um, yeah, so Daiso is a Japanese dollar store. It's actually not a dollar. Never has been over here. It was a dollar twenty-five. Now, thank you, inflation. It's dollar seventy-five. Um, anyway, I picked up some things to make painting marks with. Which, no matter what dollar t store I'm going to, is something I always do when I'm doing abstract painting like I've been doing like that. I do use paint brushes, but I more often than not don't use paint brushes. So I found a couple of um, tools. This is actually a hairbrush. Um, I wouldn't use it on my hair necessarily, not because there's anything wrong with it, but I mean, I can see scrubbing this over the paint and what that would do. I found this is a, a brush for cleaning your shoes. It looks like a nail brush. So that'll be fun. And then I found this one. I won't take this off of here. This is another shoe brush. Shoe brush for cleaning the inside of your shoes, evidently. And it's got these bristles here. It's got this pointy end with some teeth on it. So that'll be fun to play with. I found... 
a folding clipboard, which I've kind of been walking, wanting, but they're too expensive. Um, and this is a plastic one, but I want to try doing a very small urban sketching thing with a folding clipboard. So I got this to try it. It was $1.75. So um, I found some double-sided tape. I needed some more. I'm going to be working on a scrapbook for the grandbaby-to-be, uh, aka Junior. This is YouTube name. Um, and yes, it's a him. Um, I found another mini dustpan and brush. I do have one that's a bit bigger than this. I use in the art room all the time. Um, I got a, another one because that we use it upstairs and down. Um, I found some stickers. I didn't really need them, but you know, they have really cute stickers at um, Daiso almost always. I, and I'm really into botanical things right now. And I found these floral ones. I found these two. I got two of these. I found these. This is some kind of tape. It says remake tape. And it says leaf pattern, but it looks to me like an Art Deco inspired pattern. I got two of them. I don't know if I needed two, but they have lots of like little mini note cards and envelopes there always. And I do use them in some of my journals and things. Um, and so I got two. They had this one with a feather pattern. And they only had one of these, or I would have probably gotten two of them. And then they had this one with um, just lined note paper and then some different colored, solid colored envelopes. I did get a chopstick rest because I want to use it actually for a brush rest. I got a metal one. And they had this cute um, sticky note box. It's a sticky note storage box. I didn't really need it, but it was cat. it's cat themed. It's so cute. Um, so they have this, they had it in different colors. I got the white one, it has notes in it. And then I found some of the associated sticky notes with the black cat on them. They're just so cute. I didn't really need them, but anyway. Um, Daiso does have a website. I do think you can order and have shipped from their website. I don't know that everything will be on the website. It isn't always, but I will link the website down below. Um, you may have a different version of a dollar store near you, whether it's Dollar General or um, Dollar Tree or what's the other one? Five Below. Um, or you may have Daiso or there's another version of Daiso. Um, I know from Shannon Green that was in Texas and I don't remember the name of it. Um, but anyway, if you have another source for this that you never maybe go to, go check them out. You might not find anything. Um, but you might find some, you know, cute stuff and stationery is expensive. So one of the main things I get when I go there, stationery. So anyway, all right. I have lots of stuff to catch up on today now that we're back and things to put away and the baby shower here that we're going to have next week to get ready for. So that's all a thing. All right. I'll be back. Good morning. It is 11, 16 a.m. on Tuesday. February 21st and I still have a lot of catching up to do. I've got to clear off my desk. I'm working on laundry. Um, the table behind me is full. <laughs> There's just a lot to do. Plus I'm going to be filming the tool desk for the fixing the flow in your art room series. So yeah, I mean, I'm having trouble getting motivated to do that desk. I'm not exactly sure why, but anyway, I'll work through it in the video. Stay tuned. Um, anyway, I forgot to write yesterday's social media posts because I, there was just a lot going on yesterday and we just got back from the California baby shower. So, and getting ready for the next one that's gonna be here on this coming Saturday. So anyway, I'm going to write the posts now, try to get some stuff put away and cleaned up and then biting the bullet and get the filming done. I'll be back. Okay guys, we filmed a Fixing the Flow video, installment number three. I have to edit last week's vlog, but I'm, I'm gonna go do some cleaning downstairs first. The vlog might be late if I don't get it edited tonight. So I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm gonna put my earbuds in. I'm gonna play some YouTube or my soap opera or something while I clean the floor, because it's gotta get done. I'll be back. Have I vlogged here today? I don't think so. It is Wednesday, February 22nd. 
2.07 p.m. Wow. You know, I started off the morning with an early morning counseling appointment, and it's just throwing the schedule off after that. Um, got some stuff cleaned up here in the art room. Got some photos printed for my watercolor sketchbook, which I need to start back on. And I think I'm going to do another one of these really quick. I've got to take this off. And, 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 and. Otherwise, I'm just having a lazy day, enjoying my space, not necessarily creating anything in it, but enjoying it nonetheless. It is rainy outside and cold. We have a slight chance of snow, although right now all I see is wetness. I need to go check the mail, but I'm dreading going out there. Not because I'm worried about getting wet, because it's cold out. So anyway, exciting, I know. I've got video to edit, but I don't really want to do it right now. So anyway, all right, I'll be Guys, can you see that? Yeah, that's not rain. It's snowing. Hey, I had to turn the fireplace on to help the furnace warm the house. It was only 66 in the house, that's cold. And, oh yeah. It's been snowing on and off, but now it's starting to stick. I have to admit, I'm not mad at it. Uh, okay, you guys, I literally just woke up. I look like a hot mess, and oh my God. Yeah, it snowed some more last night, and let's just say it was more than an inch. Hold on. Um, that's a lot of snow. Wow. Okay, you guys, it's 1130-ish. We still have quite a bit of snow outside. So I was guesstimating we got about four inches, but weather reports are reporting that Portland got 10.8 inches. We are southwest of Portland. So yeah, anyway. Ay, ay, ay. It's pretty crazy outside. Hang on. Do this quick because I don't want to be outside long. That shit's cold outside. It's only 29 degrees, I think. Hold on. Yeah, it's just a little cold. Uh, and it's been windy on and off. And it is not melting. And my poor car, holy cow. So yeah, guys, the parents next door with the two little ones are pregnant again. And they just asked me to set up their gender reveal uh, things. No pressure, oh my God. <laughs> I'd have Bob help me because I had a little mini anxiety attack about it and getting it worried about getting it wrong. But anyway, they don't know it yet, but they're having a boy. <laughs> Must be the year for boys. Anyway, so that's all sorted. Holy moly. All right. <laughs> I need to go upstairs and do some art or something. Calm my blood pressure down a little bit. I'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's after lunch. <laughs> it is Friday, February 24th. It's 12.47 p.m. I have already gotten some artwork done and some paperwork filled out for my daughter, which I needed to fill out and I needed to do it without any mistakes and it's taken me three times, but I got it. Now I gotta get it notarized. Anyway, um, we're supposed to have the baby shower, second baby shower here at the house tomorrow. It's not gonna be a whole bunch of people, I'm, but I'm hoping it's some people because of the snow. Um, it, has started to melt a bit it is taking its sweet old time melting though so if it doesn't all melt before it starts getting cold again tonight i don't know it's i don't know anyway i guess we'll see <sighs> if it's not one thing it's five others i know i'll be back is that better that's terrible anyway <laughs> It's uh, just about 3.30. I think we're as ready for tomorrow's baby shower as we can be. The snow is melting, thank goodness. Um, a few more things I need to sort of put away, hide in the master bedroom, that sort of thing before we go to bed tonight, but otherwise we're pretty good. We've talked to both Bob's mom and a fr good friend of ours who are both not doing very well health-wise in the last 24 hours and could use some good thoughts sent their way if you don't mind. 
Anyway, I've done some artwork for the day. I should do some computer stuff to get ready for March 1st, which is next week. But you know what? I just don't have the brain power for it right now. So, all right, I'll be back. baby shower day and uh, baby shower is done it went really well we do have some extra party favors and decor but we know at least two other people that are having baby boys so anyway we'll make it work we are headed obviously in the car out to the grocery store tonight even though it's a bit late for Saturday to be shopping uh, because we might get more snow tonight and if that's the case we're not gonna want to drive tomorrow so our, yeah, we've already gotten about 11 inches of snow in um, the area where we live. We're expecting somewhere between 2 and 7 more inches sometime tonight. You know, yeah. So anyway, we hope you guys have had a great week. And um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I do answer all my comments. You can leave me, uh, send me happy mail. Uh, my address is down in the description. Um, Patreon is down there if you want direct contact with me. I am helping a few patrons out with um, fixing up their art rooms and uh, yeah, that sort of thing. So anyway, I think that's it for a minute. My brain is just on overload, can you tell? Anyway, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.